Hello and welcome to Luscombe Motors walk round video Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV. PHEV, what's that stand for? Plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. So primarily we are an electric vehicle, so your first 30 miles will be without the assistance of the petrol engine. Once that's exceeded them boundaries, you'll hear the petrol engine start up. And what that's basically doing is trickle charging your batteries, so it's self-charging basically. Uh, the beauty about the Outlander is you can actually plug it into any three pin wall socket and it'll charge you can charge it up there typical charge will cost you around about a pound to get 30 miles which is uh no mean feat in a car of that size because you've got to bear in mind it will seat five adults and luggage and it is also a four-wheel drive um this is the four model so it's got quite a lot of equipment inside it um, you've got a 360 degree parking camera on this one headlamp washers heated seats electric driver's seat and um, cruise control, all the speed limiters and so on, push button start, keyless entry. So it's quite a well loaded car. If I open the door, as you can see there, you've got your four electric window switches, heated mirrors, power mirrors that fold in. Like I said outside, electric driver's seat, nice leather chairs, front and rear, all nice. I'll just jump in. So push button start, just press that button there. Car's running now, ready blight, staying solid. Bleeping just telling me we ain't got my seat belt on. So what you've got there, you've got a multifunctional display there, um, an SDA unit, smart display audio system, as Mitsubishi call it. So what you've got, press agree. So you've got your radio controls on there and everything. Once you've paired your phone, what it basically does, it mirrors your phone so you can run Google Maps through there. So like most cars nowadays, it doesn't actually have a satellite unit. It needs your phone um, to run Google Maps on it, which is beautiful really, because this little speak button there, when you press that, you just basically tell it where you want to go. It's a bit like Siri. So if you wanted to go to a said destination, like take me to uh, Chester Zoo, it automatically just download the route and it brings it up on that nice big screen there for you in the middle. Um, and with it being Google Maps, it will alter your route if there's any accidents in front of you or anything like that. Uh, dual side climate control in this one. So if your passenger's hot and you're cold, you can set them at different temperatures. Um, you've got a heated front screen also, heated steering wheel, and like I said outside, heated front seats. Um, you've got some adjustment there on your four-wheel drive system, so if it is snowing you can actually lock it into permanent four-wheel drive. And then you've got the force EV mode for city centre driving. On the steering wheel you've got the multifunction there. This side, this does all your, um, basically um, your audio and the cameras. So if I press that button there, and then move up to there, it's bringing the front camera up and the side view. If I press it again, it changes that side view so I can see where my alloy wheels are, so I'm not gonna clobber any curbs or anything like that. It's a really useful feature, it is for parking. Um, and then if I move back to the steering wheel, the other side, same again, more safety features. You've got speed limiter and, and climate con uh, cruise control on that one. Basically, your cruise control, it's a bit of a must nowadays. It's, it's one of the best safety features. Can you just say it's, it's desired speed? You're not getting any unwanted uh, speeding tickets or anything like that. Um, this one's done 34,705, which um, is nothing really for an 18 plate car when you bear in mind you've got two engines in these. Uh, so the majority of that running may be in on the uh, electric side of it, on the battery side of it. So um, your petrol engine itself might have only done 20,000 miles or something like that. So it's, um, it's a good indication um, that the car has a bit more longevity than most cars. And then if I spin in the back there, you can see all the beautiful leather chairs in the back. You've got five seat belts also, a centre armrest. Hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you'd like to arrange a test drive or a viewing, by all means just give us a shout, and uh, thanks for watching. Cheers!